our sacrificial order. Please put your hands together and welcome Mr. Jay. Today I am at Tim Swain's event, it's called Sip and Share, and I will be performing a poem for the first time, you guys. I'm super nervous because I've never performed in front of a group of people before, and this is a really nice place, but I'm well prepared, and I can't wait for you guys to see me perform and see the rest of the artists, so stay tuned. I get it. You, you can relate. Yeah. That's why I'm just reading some other poems. Yeah. I was going to do two poems, but I was like, let me just stick to one because this is my first time performing. Yes. 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 So I was like, let me just do one because my poems are pretty long. It's not really long, but it's like medium length. Yeah. So are you happy? Obviously, you're doing something about love, right? No, it's about Jesus. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, deep. It's how, deep. How the Lord you? Oh my gosh! God told me to send a message to the people today. <laughs> I'm bringing you to church. <laughs> yeah, people love Jesus here, right? Right. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. It's, it's he only, loves everybody too. Exactly. Right. It's, it's, it's only they find yeah. Yeah. Really blame yeah. Anybody. You can't judge anybody. Everybody sins differently, right? Exactly. So, yeah. yeah. I, I, I actually I have a lot of fun. Oh yeah, I didn't even ask you to introduce yourself. So tell my viewers I'm, your name. Mm-hmm. Um a singer. I'm a poet, I'm an actor. Good, good. Yes. <laughs> I'm very, very talented. Yes, I'm I very... think all creatives like.
which um which video did you see on Hayford's channel? I don't even remember. I just remember your face. Oh, okay. Well, I hope it was a good uh, memory. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely, it was a good memory. Okay. I'm just looking at you and I'm like, I've seen you somewhere yeah. before, and, I, and I'm like, but I can't place where it was. I'm, I'm actually like, performing today. Oh, you're performing. Yeah. You're an artist. Yeah. Are you an artist? I'm a DJ. Oh, I'm actually okay. a DJ for these events. Tonight. Okay, okay. I'm doing a poem. A poem. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So I'm, I, this is my first time ever performing anywhere. So I'm nervous, but I'm not. Okay. Yeah. yeah that's cool. <laughs> Somebody's on stage. The most important person in the house is their person on stage. And the only time you should be talking is if you're encouraging them or you're like giving them bad love and all that. Because one of the worst things that you want to do as an artist is be disrespectful to mm -hmm. the artist on stage. And then you get on stage like, yo, check me out, check me out. That's mad sure. disrespectful and it's mad on sure. And I know y'all are professionals, so you already know this. But I just want to tell people like myself because sometimes I didn't know this. So again, when you're on the stage, you are the most important person when you're off the stage. The only time you should be like talking and carrying on conversations is when you are encouraging the artist. All right? That's a real good act of professionalism for the folks in the first time watching. If you're the audience member, same thing. He called if you're the audience, me out. You're performing. The only time should be, you should be carrying on conversations is when you're encouraging the artist. You're going to be shouting at them. Yeah, do your thing. Yada, yada, yada. It don't matter. As long as it's encouraging the artist. We're giving away some... Oh, well, I ain't going to say what we're giving away because I'm going to be the one paying for it, so I don't know. Maybe some food, maybe some drinks. It's going to be something. It's going to be something. But we're going to have some crowd games. We're going to have all that. Thank y'all so much for filling in. So... 
By a show of hands, how many people like, would you consider yourself to be like, I'm a professional performer? I'm yes. a professional artist. Don't be shy. I know I'm a keep, keep all the people. Mr. Yeah, yeah. No, that was terrible. That was, no, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> you know, I got up with two cool. Kali, we just relax. Everything is so relaxed. You don't clap, we don't. I think it's the education that we receive where we just you have to sit and chew and pull. So when you when the, when I say when I mention the artist's name, I want you to lose your mind. All right. Act like you are the one that's about to come onto the stage. The way you want people to receive you is the way you receive the artist. So ladies and gentlemen, I want you to get your claps together. Ladies and gentlemen, right now, coming to the stage is our sacrificial artist. Please put your hands together and welcome Mr. Yeye.
that you like in poetry, normally you snap like this. It kind of creates the vibe, all right? 
So right now, ladies and gentlemen, take that right hand, take that left hand, the love that you were showing for Mr. Richard, y'all put your hands together for Abigail, the poet. Thank you. I'm not ready yet. Warm up the mic a little bit more. This saved me for last. I just, I'm trying to see how you guys set the tone. Do you remember this? I'm a newbie. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know that you are not fine, but if you saw how can say the So this is an title poem actually, which I am dedicating to all of you. So it's basically about life and how life goes after all that. Believe me. hardships in Ghana, people need money. And me, I'm giving away money, you don't want it. <laughs> the system has trained us to be too shy. Who's next? Who? All right, I need one more, one more contest. All right, here we go. Come on, come on up, come on up, come on up. All right, so here's what's gonna happen, all right? Let me give you the rules. DJ Sears is gonna play a snippet of the... Come, 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 come. Don't be shy, don't be shy. What's your name? Okay, we got Rosen and Richard. That's perfect. All right, so 
I need you guys to stand right here where everybody can see you, okay? And we have Rosalind and Richard. So what's going to happen is Mr. DJ Sirius is going to play a snippet of a song. The first person to raise their hand, you're going to get to answer. You have to simply name the song, that's all. Then as we get harder, you're going to have to name the song and the artist. Whoever gets the most points, I'm going to give away some money. How much money should I give away? A thousand cities. You lie. You lie. You lie. You lie. You lie. We'll find out at the end. It will be money. You'll find out at the end. All right. So the first song. Are you ready? Three, two. One, drop it. Starboy Day for you. Yeah. Ah. That's no. not that song. You're supposed to mention the name of the song. First person, first person to raise their hand. We don't care about the artist, it's only the song. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Alright, so we're going to go to the next one. We're still on Afrobeat. Of course. Exactly. What's the name of the song? I know you guys know. It's too short. Yes, the name, the name, the name of the song, not the artist. The name of the artist. Are you familiar with the man who died for our lives, born underneath, born into a warm embrace underneath African skies, son of the soil, skin kissed by the African sun, hair like wool, God's chosen one, a crown of glory, a spirit of faith, hands talents from labor, responding to hate with grace. In diligence, he's known for his humility, healing soul, and forming unity. His words of wisdom heal broken spirits. His love was boundless, it had no limits. He taught us love, peace, justice, and harmony. But now his image is tarnished in the hands of one of these. Whitewashed images of Messiah circulate this earth. His image lost and hidden from birth. But the ones who know him, we know his true mold. He is the black Messiah, black and bold. So may his true image be exposed in time so that we may worship and praise the true divine. That's the first one. Thank you, thank you. 
right, the next one is transmutation. I haven't really memorized this. It's just something I wrote last week. All right. They say you change, but the truth is you elevated while they stayed the same. And instead of playing their games, you transmuted the pain into games. You, they're shocked because they left you for dead. But now the tables have turned, so now you leave them on red. See, people would rather pay the victim than to take the blame. What you once saw as potential, you now look back as shame. So now you're shining in the light of your glory, and you could care less if you're the victim in some, in the, the villain in someone's story. So tell them, yes, you changed. Because if you stayed the same, only one person will gain from you sacrificing a part of your soul and slowly fading away. Thank you. La la. la 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 Listen to this man come from the get go It's why I'm here to know my name just an echo Man I born great Hey! Man I born great From the get go It's why I'm here to move like a young bo Everywhere you go my name just an echo Man I born Nah go fish on me no go Check this What? Man I born in the way how you put you in the in the zone Like a makeup yeah they only hurt me in a funny zone Man I don't believe what they just let us know what me don't want You know, but I'm glad I put myself out there, y'all. But they about to give me a ride home, so I don't have some paper. <laughs> no, bye, one love. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> this guy that I met from Brooklyn gave me these, so I'll be interviewing him soon. Looks really nice. I can't wait to eat it. So I had a really good time today, you guys. Today was all about challenging my fears. You know, I've never performed in front of a crowd before, so my heart was just beating. But I truly, truly enjoyed myself, and I'm glad that I did it. Now I want to do it over and over again because um, it's a growing experience, you know. Your first time will never be your best. You know, you just have to put yourself out there and take the risk, and that's how you become a pro at things, you know. That's how you become a professional. You suck at first, <laughs> but I had a really good time, so. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. One love.